Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is the top five automation engineer boot camps. This is for SDETs and automation engineers. I'll make a separate video for manual testers and manual QA people, but for this one, it's for automation engineers. First off, boot camps are not required to enter the automation engineer field. Most, if not all, the information that you can get from a boot camp you can find online for either free or a very affordable price using websites such as YouTube and Udemy. So you might be asking, why use a bootcamp then? Several reasons. So first off, structure. As I said previously, most if not all information is out there for you to get yourself, but you have to find it. With a bootcamp, everything is structured to a curriculum for you to learn already, and everything is presented to you. Also, in trying to find information yourself, you sometimes find incorrect information. With a bootcamp, the structured curriculum it's much more reliable. The next reason is your resume. In order to get any job, you have to submit a resume to a company. Having a boot camp that's reputable might give you an extra boost compared to not having it. After that, financial accountability. It is easier for some people to stick with something if they're financially invested in it. So say for example, you're taking a free YouTube course and you skip a day and you're like, Psh, it's free, it doesn't matter, I'm not losing anything. Whereas if you're paying for a boot camp and you skip a day, you're basically losing money because you pay for something, you're not even using it. So having that financial investment and accountability is sometimes helpful for some people. And the final reason that you might use a boot camp is for networking. Any good boot camp should have alumni that work in the field. And if a job is happy with one alumni from a boot camp, they're more likely to go back to that boot camp for future employees. So that way, once you graduate from that boot camp, may have a job lined up for you because of previous people from that boot camp. That's all part of the networking aspect. Whereas if you didn't take that same boot camp, you don't have those same opportunities. As well as if you're in a class with classmates, you can network with them. Let's say one of them finds a job first, you can ask them what steps they took and that job may be hiring other people, you can use that as a connection to get you that job as well. So now, let's finally start our list. Our list will be based on several different factors. First, the curriculum. Are they teaching you about QA methodologies? Are they teaching you how to use tools? Are they teaching you how to code? The most important part about automation engineer is actually coding and writing automated scripts. So they have to be teaching you how to code. Another very important factor is, are they teaching you how to interact with databases using SQL? As you learned from our previous videos, SQL is structured query language, and that's how you interact with different databases. The next factor for the boot camps on this list is the price. Will you have to go six figures into debt in order to learn how to be an automation engineer? I don't think that's feasible. So instead, the most expensive boot camp on this is under $10,000. Once you get a job in the field, you'll be making a lot more money than that, so it'll pay for itself. And finally, the reviews. I will look at previous attendees and alumni reviews, as well as general Google reviews. This list is in no particular order. Now for my own personal disclaimer, this is a completely unbiased list. I have no affiliate links. I have no referral codes, it's just me doing my own research for boot camps for you guys. And make sure before you sign up to any of these boot camps, do your own research and homework as well. If you're investing your money, make sure you agree upon everything for that boot camp before making that investment. And now finally, we can really start our list. First is Test Pro. The website for Test Pro will be listed here, it'll also be in the description box below. That's that general website to their homepage. So the course that TestPro offers is SDET, which is what we're looking for. For location, this is an online course. And for the price, it is $4,000. With the price, you can make a one-time payment or have an installment plan. This course is part-time, it's a 20-week course, and it's 10 hours a week. The curriculum covers the core principles of being a QA, learning Java, which is a programming language, and using Selenium, as well as using SQL for databases. As you'll see, most of the boot camps on our list have the same exact curriculum. So the choice from there is yours. And finally, what I personally like about Test Pro, one, they offer scholarships that'll cover your tuition, and they also have a money back guarantee if you don't find a job within a year. I actually reached out to them myself to make sure this is accurate, and they said as long as you are actively applying and show that you're actively applying for a job for a whole year and you don't get a job, then they'll give you a refund for your whole tuition cost. I think that's pretty cool that some putting their money into where their mouth is, where they expect their training to actually get you a job. 
It may not be the best job, but it'll at least get you into the field. Number two is Dev Mountain. Their website will be listed here. The cost for Dev Mountain is $4,900, and they have an online as well as an in person boot camp. Dev Mountain's course is QA software. Their curriculum, just like Test Pro, is SQL, learning how to use Java, learning how to use Selenium, and then the core QA principles. Their course is on a shorter side because it's full time and it's six weeks. So, what do I like about Dev Mountain? As I said previously, their course is only six weeks. So if you learn things fast and won't be overwhelmed by all information, learning everything in six weeks may be more beneficial for you. If you're on a tight time frame and you want to try to get a QA job within the next two or three months, a six weeks course can help expedite that process. For some people, that will be overwhelming though, so please know yourself before signing up for this course. Number three on the list, Technosoft. And their website is listed here now. Technosoft's courses QA Automation. Their price, $5,000. Their location is online part-time. Their curriculum is the same as the previous ones, Selenium, Java, SQL, QA principles, but it also has mobile development automation, which is pretty cool. Their course length is 17 weeks. And now what I personally like about this bootcamp is the mobile development automation. No other camp on my list offers that, so this one in particular is a little special. You may not be using that in your first automation engineer job, but having that skill set can't hurt and it makes you more marketable. Number four on the list, Renus Tech. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but from the spelling I'm going with Renus Tech. The course for this bootcamp is QA Automation. The cost is $4,000 and they have online part-time. The curriculum, the same as the previous ones, SQL, Selenium, Java, but they also offer interview prep and resume prep. What I like about it, this bootcamp seems to be on a newer side as a newer bootcamp, but you can defer your payments until after you actually land a job. So sometimes finances are pretty tight for people. Let's say you don't get a job for the first five or six months, until you get that first job, you don't have to actually pay for the bootcamp. Please reach out to them yourself for the full details, but from their website, this is what they're telling you. And finally, to wrap it up, number five, DevX School. They have an online full-time program, but the program is a little different. Their course is SDET, which is Software Development Engineer and Test. Their curriculum is the same as the other ones, Java, SQL, QA principles. The course length is 24 weeks. The location is online full-time. And now they have a package system, so you have three different package offers. The price, for the most expensive package is $6,400 for their VIP package, but the $2,000 gold package may also be adequate for some people. And now finally, what do I like about this bootcamp? One, you can defer payments at the previous bootcamp until you actually get a job. And number two, they claim to have instructors from top companies such as Google and Amazon and Apple. Now the conclusion. As I mentioned when I first started, bootcamps are not a requirement or necessities into the field. But boot camps may be beneficial for some people. This is by no means a master list of boot camps. There are hundreds of other boot camps that can help you. But some of the things you should look for in a boot camp is are they teaching you the best QA practices? Are they teaching you how to use testing tools? Are they teaching you how to code? Are they teaching you how to use automation tools? Are they teaching you how to access databases? And if you personally have experiences with any boot camps, Please list them below and talk to other people below. Give them advice about the bootcamp experience that you had so you know what to look forward to. I will be making a future video talking about the differences between a bootcamp versus being self taught versus going to a university. So stay tuned for that very soon. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.